Hi everyone, Shirtline here. You might have noticed that in a few previous entries I brought up a certain mechanic exclusive to Gundam vs Zeta Gundam, gliding. This mechanic is used by free mobile suits in the entire game, with the trio being composed of the RX 160 Bjarland, the NRX 055 Bound Dock, and the AMX 003 Gaza C. To put it simply, gliding is a very versatile tool, which cuts down on boost consumption while slowing the unit's fall. This can be performed on any stage, it doesn't have zero gravity, by inputting a direction as you start your fall, while making sure you are not holding the jump button. If you are doing it right, certain bottom thrusters light up, providing visual feedback. In addition to that, the Gazzasi and the Bound Dock also require you to initiate this maneuver in their mobile armor mode. I have to admit, it is a fun novelty, and you can basically glide until you either run out of boost, get hit by a projectile, or touch down on the ground. Now let's talk utility. Considering the combat meta of Gundam vs, the most consistent opportunity for landing a guaranteed hit is to hit an enemy recovering as it lands. Taking this into consideration, the ability to prolong its stay in the air as well as cover decent ground makes it a pretty serviceable option for traversal, repositioning and throwing off enemy targeting. Additionally, it helps you with certain attacks such as the beam guns on the Gaza's back and the Bjarland's leaping lunge attack. What makes it even more useful is the fact that you can start and interrupt the glide move using any other movement options. That also means you can go from and into the mobile armor flight mode as well as boost steps by gliding. In conclusion, it's an underrated gimmick that comes in handy at times, though overusing it is rather ill-advised. Anyways, thanks for checking this one out, I hope it was somewhat useful. And as always, Shirtlight signing out.